hey everyone welcome back again this week Lori Carter coming to you from my office in Casa Vegas spiritualist camp you know lots of stuff has been going on already and you know mercury retrograde is like coming up next well this week coming up I guess and I think it might be a doozy honestly you know I mean I've started three classes which is fabulous and um, the two online classes are going wonderful. Last week was my first night for the in-person class. And people had to call out for various reasons. Two people showed up. And um, the one, she actually drove one hour away. And I felt so bad. I ended up canceling. Because why? The other person who was here was exhausted. She had to go home. And, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, as a teacher, we work very, very diligently to bring together material to assist other people in growing their gifts. And when they cancel out or when they don't show up, it can be very frustrating. And I really had to take stock and say, okay, Lori, these people were not meant to be in this class. It's okay. Just focus on the ones who are here. And then it turned out two people actually quit my Thursday night class because they thought it might be a little too, quote unquote, beginner for them. I got news for y'all. Basics. You gotta get the basics to grow into who you are supposed to be, either as a medium, as a psychic, or even grow into the person you are to be, you know? Spiritual growth really comes around these classes, and I feel like people don't understand that. Yes, it's great to grow your gifts. It's fabulous. I love it. But it's more about growing spiritually. And maybe even healing things in your past. Those are the aha moments in class. And after I let it go and said, okay, these two people can't make it, guess what? Within three hours, I filled those two spots. I love that. So try to start working on letting things go and allowing, which is a huge thing in meditation. Well, I'm just getting all random here today. Actually, the hotel, Casadega, or Hotel Casadega, actually um, had a ferry uh, weekend. And, you know, they got vendors, readings, and all that. And it's really kind of cute. So it kind of inspired me to go with the ferry duck that I have. And we haven't used lately. Right here it is. Oh, got to get my glasses on. Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Right here. And so you guys know, we do have a fairy trail here in Casadega Spiritualist Camp. Always a fun little whimsical place to check out when you come and visit. So pick one, two, or three. You know the routine. And here we go. Number one. Serenity. Yeah, and here we go. Serenity. Card meeting. You are moving into a time of greater inner place and peace with tranquility. Peace of mind means feeling secure and knowing that you are always provided for, even if your logical mind cannot fathom how a challenge could be resolved. Peace of mind means that you trust that God will create a miraculous solution. This sort of faith is always warranted because faith is a key component in experiencing such miracles. By drawing this card, the angels reassure you that peace of mind is within you. You can feel serene even in the midst of great turmoil. It's a mistake to think that you can have to wait until your life is a problem-free before you can have happy 
and peacefulness. The opposite is actually true. First you work towards serenity and then your life challenges lessen and disappear. Serenity is your natural state of mind and the angels are now working with you to actualize this. Lovely. And if you chose number two, Archangel Michael. Card meaning. This powerful Archangel is with you right now. He gives you courage and helps release you from the effects of fear. Through this card, Archangel Michael is making his presence known to you. He is the symbol of true courage stemming from knowing that God's love is the only power there is. Michael is letting you know that as you make changes in your life and as you encounter challenges, you are safe and secure. God and the angels help you stay true to yourself during trying times. Have heart-to-heart -heart discussions with Michael often. Pour out all of your concerns to him. Don't worry about overburdening him. Michael, like all the archangels, is able to be with everyone simultaneously who needs him. He has no limitations of time or space, so he can help you and others concurrently. And finally, if you chose three, healing. The card meaning a situation that was caused you concern is on the mend. You are a natural healer and your healing thoughts have manifested into form. Sometimes a situation cannot heal until you release the challenge completely so that healing light can enter it. Your worries will soon be over because this card signifies that a healing has occurred. To realize this healing, however, you must stop focusing on what is wrong and instead affirm everything is in divine order and perfect order right now. You have natural healing abilities and this card asks you to have faith that God works through you as an earth healing angel. Hold thoughts of love around any situation that seems to need healing. Visualize the situation as healed right now. Then give thanks to God for this healing and completely release everything to the angels. The powerful effects of your healing work touch many lives. And I hope those cards resonated. And fun, one fun little thing here. Today I spoke in church, it's Sunday, and I spoke in church, and my topic is who or what is God. I will be having that on my YouTube channel here in the next week or so. I'll let you know. Have a great week. Blessings.